trust people as much as you can, but always with caution. Allow them into your life, but only into the guest room, the rooms where your true self resides. Your innermost thoughts and vulnerabilities should remain closed. Let trust be given slowly and with discernment, for not everyone deserves access to every part of your life. In states where mercy is shown excessively to criminals, the innocent bear the burden of that leniency. The cost of misplaced compassion is often paid by the innocent, who suffer and die mercilessly, while the wrongdoers are spared justice. To protect the innocent, justice must be both fair and firm. Everyone longs to bypass the struggle unaware that it is within these challenges that character is built and resilience is forged. It is through perseverance, hardship, and learning from mistakes that we grow into stronger, wiser individuals. The struggle is not a hindrance but a teacher, shaping who we become. Happiness is not something you stumble upon or receive from others. It is a conscious choice. A state of mind that begins from within. No external circumstances or people can truly make you happy unless you decide to embrace happiness yourself. It's not a destination but a way of living that radiates from your own decisions and mindset. Life is perceived differently by everyone. To the wise, it is a dream full of lessons and insights. To the foolish, it is a frivolous game played without thought of consequence. To the rich, life becomes a carefree joke, and for the poor, it unfolds as a never-ending tragedy. Each perspective shapes how one lives and experiences the world. Dr. Abdul Kalam once shared a poignant story. I kept a sparrow at home, but one day it flew away. Then I kept a squirrel but it also ran away. After that, I planted a tree in the courtyard, and both the sparrow and the squirrel returned. The essence of this story is that true companionship and love cannot be forced. It must be nurtured naturally, like the tree that attracts life on its own. If you remain silent about your pain, it gives others the impression that everything is fine. They may never know your struggles, and eventually, they may even believe that you enjoyed the hardship. Speaking up about your struggles is necessary for healing, and for being understood by others. Allow yourself to feel what you need to feel. Emotions are natural, and they demand to be acknowledged. But after feeling them, let them go. Don't let negative emotions consume you for they can slowly erode your happiness and peace of mind. Holding on only gives them more power. You are the most deserving of your own love and care. Instead of seeking validation from others, paint your own life with beautiful colors and be kind to yourself. Others might only point out flaws, but it's your responsibility to fill your world with positivity and self-acceptance. One of the biggest mistakes people make is losing themselves in the process of loving someone else too much. In the pursuit of making others happy, they forget their own worth and neglect themselves. It's important to remember that you are special too, and your love for yourself is just as important as the love you give to others. If you can't forget someone, understand that the universe is trying to tell you something. When you can't forget someone, it could be a sign from the universe that you need to reflect on some unresolved emotions or lessons tied to that person. Perhaps there is something you need to learn, understand, or heal within yourself. It could also be an indication that this person has played, or continues to play, an important role in your life, whether through your growth, understanding, or transformation. Sometimes, the universe reminds us of someone so that we can learn deeper lessons about love, closure, or self-awareness. 
Slow progress is better than no progress. Every small step forward is a sign of growth. And even if it feels like you're moving slowly, you're still moving. Stay positive, remain patient, and never give up on your journey.